Hey, yeah. Uh, sorry, it's, I didn't um, know that was recording then. Yeah. I guess it's it's time for the ritual of the night, finally. Oh, we're yeah. A bit, we're a bit late because we haven't been able to get the time to actually record. I've been working nights for a week and, and a, a half. bit of time. Yeah. And uh, other stuff, so. Yeah. But, yeah, this is. I'm really yeah. like this. I love the intro. Yeah, the intro the is game. just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing I like, Way Forward worked on this. They're one of my my personal favorite. I remember you still got a game from them in like what? Do you remember Cat Girl Without Salad? Yeah. Yeah. They they they, they made well, that. I mean, they made that in like three days or something. Yeah. Well, you've got like a game from them that were twenty to thirty years old. Yeah, I've got a game from them that's literally as old as I am. Mm. Anyway. Um, no, from what I understand, so I looked into a lot of it. So. Um, one sec. Let me just get the. Yeah, okay. So obviously, Case the Moon was more based off uh, Castlevania 3, you know, with the yeah. different characters that you can sacrifice and all. This one is definitely based off Symphony of the Night. Yeah. So you said you could. Did, did you say you managed to um, part of the save file? Uh, no. Oh well. Basically, if I go to Game Start, you'll see it says da 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 Oh, that's the only cool. reason these show here is because the beta backer demo and this use the same, the same save file folder. System. It's the exact same save well, folder. Well, that, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Oh. But, anyway, um, I will. Uh, let me just delete that. It's, we'll, we'll start a new game anyway. So, oh well. Yeah. That does kind of suck, but. Yeah, I just, I just started that game to see if there was any appreciable difference in the opening. Anyway, so. Um, Let's go. Right trigger for backer ID. No. Backer ID? I don't know what my backer ID is, so. Wait, does that give you any good, uh, good extra stuff? I don't think so, because the, the main backer thing was uh, Ig I Igarashi's backpack, which was then released as, uh, as a, I think, either free or paid DLC for everyone. Mm. At the insistence of the backers. Okay. Anyway, so let me just put me in here. Proceed with this name. Give me a normal difficulty. If your HP gets low, you go... Yeah, there's, a, there's actual proper loading screen now. Oh my god. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Are you, have you seen Minecraft's uh, loading uh, ones? Now have that. Does anybody actually read these? No. In the, um... The curse will reduce your maximum HP and MP until it wears off, blah 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 blah. Yes. This is. I'm pretty sure this is new. It resurrected. Resurrected Dracula. <laughs> nope. Except... Yes. Yes, the... Because he's secret the Dracula. No. <laughs> yes, they couldn't sacrifice her because she fell asleep. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn the music volume down. I'm having trouble hearing the talking. I'm not. It's a great castle. Dracula's castle. No, no it's I know, not I know, I know, yeah. but the, the same guy made it. I know. The, the guy who made the original Castlevania games made it, and that's what's kind of really awesome no, about not this. Not the original, but the best Castlevania games. The ones that were actually gave 
Metroidvania, the Vania part. Or as he refers to them, Igvanias. Well, actually, Metroid Metroidvania was way before um, Symphony of the Night. Mm. Well, actually, no, technically, I can't, Symphony of the Night came out after uh, Super Metroid, which is when Metroidvania started. Yeah. So the actual first Metroidvania style game came, was Super Metroid. Yeah. But, but 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 most of the Castlevania games that ga that but started uh, the whole around that time there yeah. was Super Castlevania Four as well, which is one of my favorite yeah. Castlevania games. Look at the uh, I, th I think there's supposed to, there's supposed to be improved graphics and stuff. It does look slightly better. No mistake. Oh yeah, I can actually see his stubble properly now. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. I know. I know how you feel. Is that the book he's got? He, um, yeah, it looks like a book. Yeah, here. It's just like a strap. Yes, but you're a good guy now. Yeah. I need to focus on the task ahead. If Jibble is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I, I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared... Yeah, this does sound different to the demo version. I think so, yeah. I can't remember, it's been a long time. Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. I had the chest there, packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it... Yes. <laughs> yes, right in front of you, you creep. Knife and some kung fu shoes. Equip. Yeah, we actually have a proper tutorial now. Oh. Items can be equipped by selecting from the list. Knife or kung fu shoes. I just thought they're not going to pull um, like a full suit for the night and then, you know, we start off with all this great stuff and then, oh, death comes, doesn't like that you try to be good and takes all your shit away. No, no. Because obviously we start with shit stuff. Because that's what really that's what really sucked about something that you mean you could kill more things than one hit, and then all of a sudden death comes like oh at the end of the intro sequence you mean yeah something like that oh you're a, the good side let me take all that good stuff away and now it takes like fifty stab bones to kill a single wolf. Is this the game you broke when it was still a demo? You kept breaking. You were playing like constantly. Yeah, I was trying. I was, uh, I'd heard of some glitches. yeah, I'd heard of some glitches that people had found. I was trying to do it myself and. I kept failing. I kept dropping myself. I kept trapping myself in walls and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And cutscene. Oh, not yeah. cutscene. The next order of business is to. Oh no! A monster! <laughs> look at his knees. <laughs> what? Well, his knees are. Yeah. Look, 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 look oh wow! <laughs> anyway, we can uh, backstep and attack. Oh, oh I get, get hit in the face as well. I backstep the wrong way. Ah, good. We got a soul. I mean, uh, shard. Press Y to trigger projectile. Cerulean Splash. Yes. Yes, you'll clean them up, Miss Fee. Yes. Yes, you clean them up, Miss. I'm pretty sure that zombie was supposed to be dragging the guy, not the guy being on top of the zombie. Mm. But oh well. Sorry, not it's not a zombie. It's a morte. 
Ooh, Quite a lot to pun. Hmm. Do 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 do. Hmm I do like they've kind of kept the uh, you know same kind of music style I've got yeah. earlier. Box potion. Well, gee, you think? Yes. It's a door. Hey, look, already, the boss is already showing itself. Yes, the uh, map's very simple than I guess. That's mm. for, that's the much run kind of style. Yeah, exactly. They are, they're all games like that always seem to have that thing you know where the mop is just a blue background. Yeah. With colour coded special rooms. Mm. Usually red for say. I just got tomatoes. Quite a country yes. Uh, what? Yeah. Demand. Uh inventory. I'll be interested Tomato, in Tomato, writhing limb, monster bird deer. I'll be interested if it's if it changes your appearance and you know when you put arm on no. I doubt it, it will. doesn't. I said doubt it will, but... Yeah, no. I, I think... Uh, I assume that they've still got the thing they had in the demo where if you change your uh, face uh, wear and head wear and scarf... Yeah. That'll change your appearance, but... None of the, um, but none of the rest of the stuff does. I do use little enemies that fly away, you can't get them. Get a shard! Create a shockwave that travels across the round and rips enemies apart. Oh, hello. Miss me. Get some iron and a rusted ring. Okay. I'm pretty sure in the demo that chest just had a ring in it. Can I slide? Can I slide? Yes. And the demo you couldn't get to half some of the rooms either. Yeah. You got a tunic. Ooh. Books. From my studies I discovered the existence of the fault. Oh good, elemental weapons. That's nice to know about. Save room. It's much brighter than it was in the demo. Mm. Save your progress. Yes. It's a much more friendly save screen as well. So there should be a... Not you. Don't care about you. Cannon? Along here? I think. There's got a lot of cannons of on there. No. Not, I mean one I can use, but no, I'm in the wrong corridor. But, okay, so I have to carry on down. Wait, did that thing creak when I was walking on it? I, I might have I don't remember them doing that before. And I don't remember this room. Things have changed. Yes. Or maybe I do. No, what no, the no. hell is that? That's a cannon mortar, and it gives me the shard that lets me shoot fire in any direction. Oh. Which I need to do for that. Ah. Which is what I was thinking of. It's just this room is now blue, and it wasn't before. I don't think. And I definitely don't remember that happening. I think we'll put them to an hour just because we're only the halfway mark and we've hardly done anything. Yeah. Let's, yeah, I was going to say, let's at least get to the first boss. You mean the one that the first time we faced it just wiped the floor with us? Yeah, exactly. To be fair, most bosses we've played in these kind of games just wipe the floor with us, or we just ob completely obliterate them. Yeah. Or both. Yeah, exactly. Which happened several times in um, uh, Curse of the Moon. Yeah. 
chest. Oh, good, a map. Right, there's that two up there we couldn't get to before. Yeah, this this section here, you mean? Yeah, on the top bit up there. Yeah. And that bit I wasn't supposed to be able to get to, but I, fi but I got to with a glitch, hmm. which won't work in this version. And that appears to be a secret room. It does. It, did I just... Did you just walk? I can place map markers. Huh. So, so I go like... Interesting. Because that, uh, that, uh, that's nowhere on this... Um, on the uh, bar of... Um, things at the, of, it, of instructions at the bottom. Right. Oh, now I know what these are supposed to be. Bone uh, pillars. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Mortar cannons. Yeah. Quite a lot of the enemies are very obviously... They're basically recycled. Yeah. Which is not such a bad thing. No, because you know what you're dealing with. I mean, like, the regular morts are zombies. The bone morts are skeletons. The mort cannons are bone pillars. <laughs> Those guys are basically uh, mermen. Hmm. I mean, they've been very. They're in the uh, Mega Meg Drive game. Uh, Except they shoot water instead of fire. Well, well they didn't always shoot fire. In the Mega Drive, um, I guess when you get what's it called, new generation, mm -hmm. you get to a point in the first level with this moment on the thing, and they don't shoot fire as much as this this bit, this string of liquid at you that hits you and knocks you off and fall, makes you fall in the water, which you automatically ah. die. So this is where you. Kung Fu shoes, dragon shoes. Yeah. Basically, uh, in the demo there were all these special magic attacks you could do which depended on the weapon but they all had different button combinations oh yeah and presumably this is how you're actually supposed to find out about them so you go you go look at a book basically yeah well speaking of books um, in the new Minecraft update they've got a um, librarian villager yeah. who if you do the right things very quickly gives you enchanted books very easily mm -hmm. mind you yeah I've heard that's complete. That's kind of completely useless because you can just fish for them anyway. Yeah, but and I still haven't managed to f work, uh, build an AFK um, fishing thing on Minecraft on the Switch edition, only because the um, the physics for the water is slightly different yeah. than the Ooh, um, PC PC version, so it won't you know keep fishing. Uh, Mer Miriam's favourite scarf. Scarf. Ragged. A scarf made of ragged cloth gives you better. And look, see that that changed the appearance of the of the scarf mm. that she's wearing. So there are some um, I won't say cosmetic items because they actually do stuff, but mm. you know what I mean. I do. One two one two. Un de trois. Those guys are just really annoying. Yeah, they come out like the chain gun or some gungeon. Yeah, only more annoying. Oh, the um. Oh yeah, like an enemy that is almost exactly the same as its Castlevania counterpart. Yep. The ghost. I didn't even know that's what it was called. I just assumed it was just some kind of weird spirit thing. I don't need to have a name for it. It's just fucking annoying. Especially when they yeah. put it on on, on, on uh, Supercast Four, where uh, you're, the level where you're going for the cave, you know, trying to get up to the castle, mm -hmm. and they always seem to put them in the worst spots where you can get knocked off and go right to the bottom of the stage and have to start all the way up again. Yeah. Well, in this, they're just so annoying at lower chest. levels because you missed the chest. Do you mean that that one on the uh, in that dark spot? Yeah. I can't get to it. Oh, why not? Because I don't have double jump yet. Well, that looks more fun than it did before. Yeah. Yeah. They obviously quite a lot of the graphical stuff has been improved. Are given are made to be nightmare fuel. Oh, you got to claim more. Uh, weapon, short sword, claymore. Oh yeah, that? I forgot you using shoes as a weapon. I just got a bunch of seeds. Don't forget to take your weapon. Oh yeah, sure. Picks up shoes. What? Where the fuck are you going? Level up. And oh, Hi. I got a sea urchin. 
And it's good that that shortcut's there, because now I can just go... Wee! Chest. Double chest room. You missed the other chest. I know. But I'm going to go back that way. Uh, Muscatoon. Yep. Excuse me. Get that chest. Hairband. Hidden room. Achievement locked. Might have known. And a MP boost. Good. As well as, a, I'm assuming, a rank I am. Let's see, hairband. Tunic, which is worse than my country dress. Wait, what did What's you get from the from the uh, red chest? Air chest. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking Gundam to kill us down. Yeah, that 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 was. Um, I'm I'm assuming that. Uh, okay, one problem I don't like about the the whole map marker thing mm. is I automatically press B to exit the map, but that doesn't work because B places the map marker. Okay. Oh, just up that bit mm -hmm. is the thing that we never we never had a problem with in the demo, but many people did. The invincible box boss. <laughs> there was a slight bug where that box would not move, and the bug was in the graphical settings. Oh, that was pretty funny. Anyway, okay, big area. Customer nearing boss fight. Yeah. Ooh, critical hit, nice. Yeah. I'm assuming they've now uh, added the Ooh. fact that you've got, uh, you know, certain enemies have, um, what is it, what am I thinking of? You know, uh, weaknesses to certain things. Yeah. I think that's what that, we got that book earlier saying about elemental strengths and weaknesses or something. I think that's what that was talking about. Oh yeah, I can't I can't jump this in this until I get the uh, double jump thing. Oh, I'm worried about the fact that the you know the golem took 22 damage, whereas the um, yeah barely took anything. Okay, these guys weren't here in the demo. I mean, they don't hurt or anything. They're just set dressing pretty much. Get a bit of money. A lot of money. Yeah, where's our money? Bomb. Oh, 2,242. Yeah. Save game. Yes. I'm, I'm very annoyed we can't like continue one of these the saves save. from the demo. Yeah. Because that the top save from the demo has every single good item. Here we are, cutscene. Yeah. Oh, with uh, G ball. So That's different. Yeah, it's definitely different. Yes, well, we're, we're wearing a night miss arm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just I just saw the the eye he's got. Hmm. Yeah. Look at his different eyes. Yeah, his devil eye. Yeah. We shuffle our bodies. To no longer be human. Our choices. I'm just thinking of. Uh, Soma Cruz. I was thinking of Dumbledore. Of course Pro. you were. I was thinking of Soma Cruz. The fact that he is the literal reincarnation of Dracula, <laughs> but he's the good guy. His power is as evil as it gets. He kills something and nicks its soul and uses it as a weapon. So like Alucard. Yeah, except more like what she's doing whenever mm. she kills a monster. Mm. Okay, she's changed a bit as well. Mm. 
Oh, gee, where would you be? At the top of the big ass castle. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't have quite that many hands, did she? No. I think. No, but she's literally... I wonder if she is the boss on the uh, Curse of the Moon. I think she is. Wait, which one? The, the last of, one. Uh, she might be, yeah. Okay, now you just look even more ridiculous. Yeah. One thing I didn't know about when we played the demo mm -hmm. with this boss... You know you can see her boobs? Yeah. That if you if you can hit them, she takes more damage. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Doesn't appear to happen anymore. Excuse me. I think it was considering he was only doing twelve to fit twelve yeah. fate damage, whereas the year before he was having twenty three. Use a potion. Is she summoning Seema? Yeah. We're getting our asses under to us again, aren't we? Yes, we are. I wish it was just called like a health bar for. Uh, yeah, whereas if you jump now, see, see you're doing tons more damage. Yeah. Level up. Done. And then she dies and I get a nice shiny new shard. So we wasn't getting our asses handed to us? No, it just seemed like it. Attacked with a tentacle. And then she goes. Oh hell yeah! There's the traditional. Mm. Blood stained. Okay, and now we pop the boat. Oh, of course! Oh, I just realised another connection with Casavena. So you know, uh, Curse the Moon is Casavena free. Mm. Well, Castle of Castle of Free's subtitle is Dracula's Curse. And uh, we're still in for the night, still for the night, ritual of the night. Mm. Yeah. Alright. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Arantville. <laughs> Ooh, this looks a lot nicer. Mm. Well, it doesn't, but... Well, you know, I mean, I mean, it doesn't look nicer to live in, but the textures, mm. so especially of these, I mean, it's background textures, but even so. Sorry, right, I don't remember them for the demo. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, one of the f they're one of the few enemies in the demo that you couldn't get a shard from. Ooh, a stone mask. And a melting skull. Yes. Wait, no, the stone mask is an accessory. Wait, I can... Ooh. You can equip my, my accessories. Yeah, but you, you, I wasn't, you, in the demo you weren't able to equip the stone mask and the helmet, or the helmet and any other face accessory. Oh, fair enough. Or ear accessory, even. Cutscene! There's Princess Zelda, and there's... Bayonetta. <laughs> you just walk up behind the demon that's attacking and just go. Actually, do you want to leave it the half armor? Because that is yeah. literally. Uh... This means. Yes, she is. This is Dominique. She was sent by the church. Oh yeah, this is Alexander An Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. The Alexandra Anderson. Alexandra Anderson. <laughs> and ec the Exorcist. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you. 
Well, let's just get into the shops and then. Yeah, and then we'll cut it off and then the next. You spoke to him? Well, actually, when you say that, that's pretty much what happened with the Belmonts every century. Mm. I mean, sometimes it's a little earlier, and that's tomorrow, that's more with Simon. It happened Dracula got risen twice. Yeah. Well, so Until 1999, when he when Dracula was locked, his castle was locked into an eclipse somehow. Yeah, that was Symphony in the Night, though. Was there something in the Night? No, because then... Well, that was part of the backstory of Arya of Sorrow and Dawn of Sorrow. Well, there was a point where uh, Dracula was killed off completely, and that's where um, uh, gener the new generation comes in, because John Morris, you know, is a descendant of the um, Belmont family. Yeah. Unfortunately, because he's an actual Belmont... Um, his life is drained by his usage of the whip. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same It's the same little plot point as in uh, Portrait of Ruin. But actually, it turns out Dracula's niece is the one you have to kill this time because you're trying to r r raise Dracula again. Yeah. What a you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe, says the priest. <laughs> oh, wait, no, she's not a priest. You can, you can tell she's not a priest by those sleeves that are magically levitating. Yes. Follow the weird person in high heels <laughs> whose hair and sleeves don't obey the laws of physics. Are we, um. One sec, let me just. No, I can't interact with you. Ooh. That, I don't recognize. No, that, I, I don't, don't recognize. The sign, I think I do. The flames weren't moving in. There, there weren't any flames in the, uh. In the. In the, in the okay, that looks completely different. It looks so much better. This place seems secure. Yeah, you just, just, you know, you just walked into that. Yes, Why not? Can. All the villagers ask every Belmont to do it. Hmm. Well, just the Belmonts. Pretty much anyone else who wanders along and sees Dracula's castle. Well, I still, I still like to watch the uh, Castlevania series. I really need to watch it mm. on Netflix because um, even Don O'Neill said it's absolutely brilliant. Yes. Got a lot to do. So um, this covers a whole lot with before uh, from the I think Castlevania three where Trevor, um, you know, the, the Belmonts were um, yeah. exiled from society because the, all the public fight was their fault that yeah. uh, demons coming back. Yeah. And then all of a sudden Dracula Scatter is like, ah, help us! And Trevor's like, fuck you. Waystone? A rather that takes you wherever you picture requires con concentration. And then Trevor's like, why should I help you? You'd be like, keep me out of everywhere. That looks so much better than the demo. Right, one. are we saving then? One sec, let's just. Oh, he has a lot more stuff. We, what do we need to prepare food? Uh, oh, oh, do, we, do we still only have one stat thing? One stat boot. Well, you get you get a boost the first time you eat each food, but they also work as uh, good healing items. Yeah. Same as in the demo. Okay. Flower, what pie, was that a pie dough? Yeah, these, these bottom four. Well, pie dough, flour, butter, cookies. Go Cookie. Okay, yeah, that's confusing. To make a pie, cr uh, what is it? A pie, pie, the dough for, for to make a pie out of flour, butter, and cookies. I mean, sure. I get bread, get bread, you know, breadcrumbs made there. Eh? I can yeah. understand, but cookies. Okay, uh, looks like the enhancing things still works the same as. Oh, I can enhance the boss, the boss shard. I couldn't do that before. No, I remember because it was you said it was saying yeah. it you did because you didn't have stuff. Gone. Oh, we can. <gasps> oh, you need you need Alcaz to do it, but you get. Oh, the some of the stuff, some of the items have, have much better names as well. I'm noticing. Yeah, Hound whip. skin, small webbing. <sighs> I wish there was a better uh, version of the whip. 
rusted look, ring. Look, look, yeah, look. With the rusted ring, yeah. I can break it down to a proper ring and the rust. Blah 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 Greetings, I can cook. Yes, we yes, we know about the stat boost from the demo. Save room. And here's where we'll end this episode. Yep. Uh, we'll pick it up on the next one. So I've been gone. I'm rewind. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.